My name is Carolyn Pampino. I'm the PMC lead for Collaborative Application Lifecycle Management at IBM Rational. And today I'm going to talk to you about our definition of Collaborative Application Lifecycle Management. So what is Application Lifecycle Management? It's often called ALM, or in our case, Collaborative ALM. And we like the definition that's been provided by Forrester, where the focus is really on the coordination of development lifecycle activities, which includes managing requirements, modeling, development, build management, and testing through the three dimensions of process automation, traceability, and reporting. So what exactly does this mean, though? It's a discipline, but it's also a product category. Teams practice the discipline of ALM to ensure that they have traceability, automation, and reporting across the various disciplines in the life cycle. But at the same time, it's a product category that vendors seek to provide solutions. At the same time, it doesn't really support specific life cycle activities, but rather it focuses on keeping them in sync. You know, there have been many attempts to create an ALM model, um, but the interesting thing about that is as you go from team to team, the activities and the artifacts in each one of those teams and each one of those companies essentially changes and it's specific to that team. So you can't really create a single ALM model um, because they end up fitting no one. Yet at the same time, you wanna focus on keeping those activities in sync. So it needs to be flexible and adaptable uh, to every team and every project. It doesn't live in the practitioner tools, which sounds kind of funny because you think it would, but really those practitioner tools focus on providing a solution for that discipline. I have development tools, I have test tools, and so forth. Uh, so ALM is really about the integration between them. How do I link a requirement to a test case, for example? The final point here is that a collection of development lifecycle tools is not necessarily ALM. ALM involves those three dimensions of process automation, traceability, and reporting. So if you just have a bunch of tools in your organization and you haven't integrated them and you're not acting on those three dimensions, uh, you essentially have a collection of development tools. So to help define collaborative ALM, we've produced this ALM blueprint where we really like to focus on a team executing on a project. In that project, you want your project health and dashboard so that you can actively manage the project and understand where you are at any point, whether that means are all my requirements elaborated, where are we on the iteration, what work items are complete, which ones are left to do, how is the test team doing. You want all of that at your project level dashboard. And then there are the software development disciplines with requirements, definition, and management, modeling, collaborative development, build management, and quality management with automation and scanning underpinning all of them. So you need the ability to do deep dives on any one of them and, and really the project health and dashboard is reporting on the activities across all of those disciplines. And then intersecting all of this, we have asset management where you might have important assets that you want to have other teams reuse, where teams might be consuming those assets or publishing assets as the result of the project. To really have an integrated ALM solution, you need a foundation to help integrate all of this tooling and make all of that possible. And so all of this, when you think about this, it's a pretty wide domain and it's also very deep. It, when we talk about ALM, it's not necessarily the white boxes here, but really it's, it's kind of this green stuff in between all of these because it's the glue that holds all of these disciplines together and helps the teams work together as a more unified team. So when you think about ALM, you want to think about the integrations across these various disciplines. This concludes today's talk on Collaborative ALM. I thank you for your time and attention, and I'll look forward to seeing you out on the forums on jazz.net.